high. This is what was thrown into my face the first time I played with a big band. And that was a horrible experience because I'm not a good sight reader. And uh, then, of course, I did a lousy job first. But then I discovered that uh, it doesn't have to be that hard if you just know a few essential things. So now I'll show you three essential things that you need to know and four exercises. So make sure that you stay to the end of this video. What is salsa? Well, salsa is a sauce. It means sauce in Spanish. But it is also a type of dance and a type of Latin American music. It's also a style of music that jazz musicians like to play. What I just played for you now was above uh, Peter Erskine's play long track Afro-Cuban music that you can find in the App Store. Highly recommended. The first thing that we need to know about when playing salsa music is the son clave. And to help you remember that, here is my son. Hi. Remember son clave. And there are two common types of son claves. And uh, that is a bit of a coincidence because I too have two sons. Hi. Thanks a lot, boys. As I said, the clave is important to know about when you play salsa music. So here is the first one. And here is the second one. So when you play salsa, the first thing that you should do is to get to know the clave and be able to clap the clave. For example, like this. To demonstrate the next element, I have invited a friend, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Tom. Oh, hi Tom. And uh, what is your last name? My last name is Bao. And uh, do you happen to play an instrument? Yes, I play the double bass. What a coincidence. Tumbao is the next thing that we need to know about. Tumbao is uh, the pattern that is being played by the bassist of the band. And the tumbao is something that can throw you off when you play salsa music, especially the first time that happened to me. Because the bassist is normally playing on the first beat of each bar, but uh, when he plays the tumbao, he plays like this. So he starts often on the one, and then it's two and, and then he plays on the fourth, and that is leading up to the one in the next bar. Let me show you what I mean. Once you know about the clave and the tumbao, then you're ready to know about what the piano plays. In salsa music, the piano becomes like a percussion instrument, and uh, what you play is called monchuno. Normally, if you play jazz piano, you probably play a 2-5 like this. Or if you play with a bass player, you play something like this. But when you play Montuno, you would uh, split the hands apart and you play still as if you're playing with a bass player. But now you play like this. And uh, of course you do that uh, in a rhythmical way, but now you're breaking down the chords. And uh, this is one example of an A minor 7 to D7, where I added the 13 here. Right. One more time. And up to speed, it sounds like this. That was exercise one out of four. Let's hear that now in the music. When you 
play salsa, you should know more than one Montuno per chord progression. So still an A minor seven to D seven, you can play like this. So now you're going down from A minor to A minor with a major seven, right? And then A minor with a seven to D seven or D13, right? And up to speed, it sounds like this. The third exercise is something that I like to add if the chords are changing rapidly, for example, within uh, one bar. And uh, now let's use a different example. So now let's play a 2 5 1 to B flat. So then what you can do is to play on the seventh here. So you strip down a C minor 7 like this. And then to F7. And then to B flat going to B flat 6. And uh, then when you add the Montuno feel to it, it sounds like this. So those are the notes and uh, up to speed. The last exercise goes from an A minor 7 with flat 5 to D7 and then to G6-9. And on the G6-9, what you can do is to vamp on the chord itself. So instead of playing the Montuno like we did with chromatic movements, now we can do it like this. Here are three additional tips that you can add when you play Montunos. So instead of playing down here, now you can move your right hand up an octave. I like to do that when I want to create more excitement. Once you know the different basic Montunos, you're free to come up with your own and improvise, and I do that all the time. For example, I like to add an extra note here. Like this, right? That was not written in the manuscript from before, so you're free to do whatever you like. Tip number three is regarding your solo. So let's say you play a solo over an AABA form. Uh, what I like to do is to divide that into three steps. The first thing that you can do is to play a new melody in octaves. So you improvise a new melody line where you don't play any chords and you do that for all of uh, the first two A sections. So what I like to do is to put uh, two octaves apart and play a new melody line. But what I do is that I look at my left hand and I let the left hand run the show and then I let my right hand follow.
step number two, and this goes for the B section of uh, your piano solo. And now you can start to add some chords. The third thing that you can do is to play an element over and over. So you can do that, for example, while you add a strong chord with your left hand. And then to peak your solo, you bring everything up a half step or two and make it sound uh, quite outside and uh, weird, but then you bring it back inside. That is all you need to know to get started with salsa. But of course, salsa is a very deep style with very long roots. I just covered the basics in this lesson. If you want to get the exercises I showed in this lesson together with your music, play along track and MIDI file, you can get them all by following the link in the description. Also, if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe and share. And also, I would like to hear from you. What is your experience with salsa music? Leave a comment below. And one last thing, if you have a hard time creating a jazz piano solo that makes sense, be sure to watch this video next, that clearly shows you what you can do to improve your jazz piano skills. Alright, I'll see you in the next video, take care of your music, 